Physics and art make you smart. Together they make you even smarter. Try it. You may like it. Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, March 4, 2022 for me. Maybe not for you. Art quiz number 177. Very, very famous artist. To those of you who are familiar with the various movements in art, it's very clear that this is an example of fauvism. Look up the meaning of the word fauve in French. <laughs> it means that all colors, no matter how non-natural, are allowed. Look at the horses. You have never seen green horses, have you? Fauvism was popular in the first decade of the 20th century. Matisse was also, in a way, a, a fauvist. But in my book, the real inventors of Fauvism were earlier. That was Gauguin and that was Van, Van Gogh. Let me pronounce his name correctly, Van Gogh. He was Dutch, I know how to pronounce Van Gogh. If you look at Van Gogh's work and also at Gauguin's work, Gauguin paints trees red, strong red. Van Gogh paints suns green. You can imagine in those days, people, even famous art critics, would write that Van Gogh and Gauguin don't know how to paint because trees are not red and the sun is not green. <laughs> well, in any case, it was generally accepted in the first decade of the 20th century. And this is a striking example. The interesting thing is, Fauvism at the beginning was not accepted. People don't like a new way of seeing. That's a cold shower. People don't like cold showers. They love the warm bed. Rembrandt, Da Vinci. Van Eyck, Van Dijk, Vermeer. <laughs> yeah. Why do they love now Rembrandt, Vermeer, Van Eyck, Van Dijk? Because their way of seeing has now become our way of seeing. And Fauvism, ridiculous at the time, is now your way of seeing. If a child in nursery school would have drawn the sun green, in uh, 1895, 
the teacher would have said, but Johnny, don't you know that the sun is not green? You have to change that. If today a youngster would paint the sun green, there would be no problem. Why? Because it has become your way of seeing. People love Van Gogh because Van Gogh's way of seeing has become your way of seeing. He made you look at the world in a different way. Do you know that Van Gogh never sold one painting? He couldn't even give them away. People didn't want it. It was considered trash. But we now look at the world differently. That is the beauty of pioneering art. It's a new way of seeing. Without question, this artist was a pioneer. I've helped you to find who it is. The questions are always the same. Who is the artist? When was it made? And what is the title? And the reason why I ask those three questions, I know you will cheat. I know most of you will use Google imaging and they will tell you who the artist is. But now I want you to Google the artist and learn more about the movement and what the great contributions of this artist were and other artists at the same time. That's really my objective. I teach physics and I also teach art history. My wife has a master's degree in art history, but long before I knew her, when I was 15 years old, I already in high school gave lectures on art history. Yeah. It's true. Physics is my life. Art is my love. I have a major art collection. Most of it came from my parents, but I also have bought many pieces myself. So, who is the artist? When was it made? And what is the title?